Hey guys, welcome back to yet another away day vlog. This time it's Tottenham, as you can see behind me, there it is. Picasso are coming on the back of a very good week. A good draw against Man U, a good win against Everton. And because of results elsewhere yesterday with Brighton and Liverpool lose, it puts Picasso in a good position. It's not the worst case scenario if we lose today. Obviously, we don't want to go there and just accept the defeat, of course. So we want to go in there and give it everything we've got. But it's not the worst thing ever, ever to happen if we lose. So uh, it's important today we get in there, give 100%. The fans are going to be up for it, everyone's going to be up for it. We've got a few more weeks before the World Cup break. Let's make sure we finish as strongly as possible going into that January transfer window. So anyway guys, if you're new, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well. Every single match this season I will be at, and we'll vote for the red Let's get in the way. So here is the brand new White Hart Lane. So the away section is just up those stairs, we're going to head in shortly. What do I need to say about this ground that hasn't been said already? It is phenomenal, I, I love the stadium. It's the second time I've been here today and it is, I mean you would say it's the best in the Premier League, just how well it's built. Despite that though, I always think these modern grounds, the atmosphere can be dampened quite a bit. I mean, just look around the ground, it's just, there's nothing going on. Uh, always the St James' part, there's always stuff going around the ground. Just, yeah, it just feels so... I don't know what the word is for, it just feels quite flat. But yeah, that's my personal opinion. Matthew, first time you can see that's the first ever Adam P. Hawaiian shirt. I've had him in a, a previous vlog before, but he always brings the shirt, so I promise I'll pay you back and I will do today. But uh, as for the game against Tottenham, how are you feeling? I think it's going to be tough, but if we play well enough, we can't come away with the points. So I think it's going to be 1 1, 2 2 draws. Listen, I'll take any point today, so I appreciate it, any of you. Uh, look at that, repping that new way it is. Thank you, look at that, getting the word out there. But uh, seriously, though, I appreciate it, and now. Uh, Fingers crossed to get a draw at least. And so, uh, if you guys haven't been watching me for a while now, you know what I is actually the reason why I started YouTube in the first place. So you want to give a little bit of a backstory? Yeah, we met on PS4, we started playing games, party, started of our own YouTube. Adam's obviously carried on um, and he just keeps growing and growing. But I appreciate it now. Obviously I always make sure, for example the London games, I always make sure I can follow the cast United, so I mean I, I mean for someone like you for example, I mean I don't I imagine you don't watch Newcastle on a weekly basis. Just how do you think over the last year uh, you think Newcastle's grown on a new ownership? Yeah definitely I've seen a lot happier now compared to last year um, and they're doing better in the league. Game See, the first time I took you to a game actually was the Oxford one with St. Maxman scored the yeah. last kick of the game. So, I mean, the, the transformation of the club over Corwin and I mean, the take away has just been phenomenal. So, it, it's good to be along for this and uh, make sure I'll be plenty more journeys. But this Kia guys, is the reason why I started YouTube in the first place. So, thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. 2 1 Newcastle, Wilson and Alma run. All the mags. Look at the size of that stand over there. It's incredible. Just one continuous stand. So they've got the way section down here. The safe standing. Uh, it's an amazing ground. So let's make sure today we can 
get out there and give it a good performance no matter what the result is. But yes, uh, in terms of this, I'm a massive fan. Start 11 is probably as good as it can be at the minute. Bruno, Jordi, two key players in this team. Let's see how much of a difference they're going to make today. Handball? Where's the handball come from? I don't know where there was a handball, like, but yeah, I completely missed that one. Get in! Yes, get in there! Come on! Stick your handball at the arse. One there, new passer. Come on, the mags. Three goals, we've got at least a point here. Bloody hell! Yeah, um, very, very good first half for Nicasa. Nicasa survived the half time 2 0 at the break. What, what am I witnessing here? So, there we have a half time Tottenham 0 Nicasa 2. What's going on here? Now, as I said before this game, any point would do today, unless the castle will capitulate and continue three in the second half, we've got a guaranteed point here. So I, I, think, I think it's fair to say we're in the money zone here. But we can get out with three points today, I think we've got them. I mean, I mean, to be honest, I think you can definitely win the heart. So, Tottenham had a few decent chances. I think Son's probably the best player, due to the fact that he can just score from anywhere. I think we've kept Kane yeah. quite for the most part. Overall, I think we've been a better team, are you playing with? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, Spurs had a chance to start, that's about it, really. Yeah, well, I don't really know how it was the handball in Callum Wilson's goal. I thought it would be a 50 50, Lloyd. That was what I was concerned about. But, yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, Claire Gold, and one scored in the main zone. 6 and 12 in, so I, mean, I don't know what's happened to Eddie Howe affecting the animal one, but he's just having an incredible season. We hold on, we get a win today, it will be phenomenal. You want point for two, but let's not concede two goals. Let's make sure we can hold on or hopefully even further the lead So, Yeah, half time, what a, what a game this is. Half time, the castle two up. Look at this reaction.
eight minutes of stuck, that's the first one. Crap. Crap, it's been given. On Friday night, Bruno has his kids. He's came on today and had a really good performance. Show he's on the pitch now. First time he's played this season, so yeah, big few minutes for him. And uh, Woods came on for Woods, and so all right, let's see out this win. Eddie Moore. Yes! Get in! Get in there! Newcastle have done it! Come on! There is three huge points of White Hart Lane. Oh, we've held on. <laughs> We are going to party all night long. Full time Tottenham won, Newcastle 2. We held on and kept the three points. I can't believe we won today. I would have took any result today. We got seven points out of our possible night against Manu, Everton, and Tottenham. So, very good return. Uh, and to be honest, I thought Newcastle probably were the better team today. I think Tottenham obviously were much better in the second half than they were in the first. But I still think Newcastle created a lot of chances. The score early on in the second half, that's when the nerves started to kick in. But overall, the castle still gave it a good goal. We still create a lot of chances. And you have, you have three points to deserve it. But no chances Tottenham deserve to win that game today. So yeah, I think the castle were the better team. And it's fully deserved now, point of view. Now, uh, you hear that noise behind me. The buzz is real now. We really have got that buzz going. Villa at home, Southampton away, Chelsea home. Those are the three games left in the Premier League. Winter and all, so I tell you what, we are golden. So yeah, um, can't get too hot, can't get too far ahead of ourselves, shall we say? But it was very good. <laughs> we beat Tottenham away. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. We're going to go back to the travel lodge now, and we are going to party all night long. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.